If Superman is so strong, why isn't Zod also invincible? Shouldn't a fight between them destroy the whole universe in their first clash? This fight didn't go on long enough to destroy the entire universe. It might have if Zod had lasted long enough. He was building up to it. Kal-El wasn't invincible. He had the advantage of being used to sunlight, Earth's atmosphere and the effect being here had on his body and his powers. Martha and Jonathan Kent taught him to focus his mind while he mastered his abilities. Zod and his people became sick when they lost their helmets and the full force of all five senses disoriented them. They were at a disadvantage. During the final battle, Zod became more proficient in using his heat vision. When he decided to murder innocent humans with it, Cal put an end to him. That was the only way. The Phantom Zone engine was gone and there was no way to safely contain Zod on Earth. Zod proclaimed that he was going to make humans suffer. He was going to kill us all one by one. Krypton was gone and so was his soul. According to Zod, his actions, no matter how violent, were always in defense of his people. The Codex was gone and there was no hope of rebuilding Krypton. He was going to burn Earth down. People became outraged that Henry Cavill's Superman killed, but they conveniently forget that Christopher Reeve as Superman killed General Zod in Superman 2. That Superman knocked depowered Zod into a bottomless icy crevasse. Looked like death to me. Even George Reeves' Superman was indirectly responsible for the deaths of two blackmailers in the season 1, episode 13, The Stolen Costume, Adventures of Superman, George Reeves' TV series. In that one, Superman captured the two blackmailers and put them on a high snow-covered mountaintop. There was a cabin and he promised he'd come back with warm clothes, food, and firewood. The two idiots weren't having it and decided to climb down. They fell to their deaths.